Crikey, let's look at building some credit for the young little Joeys, shall we? Just kidding, I'm not Australian, but rest in peace to the real one. What is up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, Steve Hogue YouTube channel. Um, I do videos on money, finance, taxes. I try to give them to you in short, bite-sized doses that don't totally suck ass, that won't bore you to death, uh, motivation, and whatever I can do to teach you these life skills you're not learning in school to make you the best you you can be because, God damn it, Steve cares. Let's get started. Okay, so when you are starting to build credit, starting out, now first off, just backtrack one second. Okay, in your financial life, credit is so important for so many things, and the difference between having great credit and crap credit can literally cost you thousands of dollars at the end of the day. Okay, with things like credit cards for emergency expenses, big purchases, holidays, um, being, in, being involved with some of the great rewards programs out there for cash back, for travel, car loans. Having a 740 credit score gets you an interest rate that's going to save you thousands of dollars over even having a 650 and definitely over having a 600 or below thousands of dollars and you get into big money when you start talking about your mortgage okay a great credit score can save you literally thousands of dollars in interest every couple years compared to a crap mortgage with an insane interest rate and credit is really not that hard to figure out actually credit is pretty simple especially when you're just starting out now just a disclaimer before we get started, what I'm about to show you is for people who are under the age of 18, you know, whether you're 14, 15, 16, or 17, before you're 18, your, your path is going to be a little bit different. You're getting a jump start, which is amazing, and I'm so happy you're watching this video. As you're starting, you're not going to be, you're not going to have most options open to you because of your age. Because in the United States, under the age of 18, you cannot legally enter into a contract without a signature from your parent. So opening bank accounts, opening credit accounts, and everything along those lines, that's not open for you starting out. But there is a plan here that can get you a great jump start. Start building credit before you turn 18. Yes, it is possible, and I'm going to show you how, and get a jump start on your finances to where you can really set yourself on a trajectory to be really successful with your money, whether or not you go to college whether or not you get a huge income job. You're going to have such a such a great start right off the bat. And here's how it starts. Step one, process number one, if this is available to you. If not, it's not the end of the world. This is probably the least important of the three things I'm going to show you today. But number one, if you have a parent who has a credit card in good standing, now I'm not talking their everyday expense credit card or a credit card with a massive limit or a credit card that carries a balance, but just one of their credit cards, whatever the case may be, that they carry a small balance on and that has a perfect payment history for those two things. Now, show them this video, show them the pros and cons online, if you need some help swaying them and talking them into this, having your parents add you as an authorized user on a great credit card will get you started building credit right now. And with some banks, there's no minimum age. You can be a toddler and you could be added as an authorized user on a credit card and you are going to have a trade line reporting in good standing, hopefully, assuming you and your parent both handle the card responsibly from your earliest of days, okay? Now, what that means, whether you start when you're two or when you start when you're 17. By the time you become 18 years old and you are now old enough to open your own credit trade lines, you are going to have a massive jump start. Assuming that card was handled properly with perfect payment history and a low utilization on the card, there's a good chance the day you turn 18, you could already be dealing with a 700 plus credit score that day, which is amazing. That right there opens up the door for so many things. If you're thinking of going to college, you need uh, private loans, 
you're already going to qualify for the best rates. Your car loans for your first car, you're going to get a great rate. You can open an unsecured credit card right off the bat, which is huge, okay? And the process to add an authorized user, it's very simple. And every major credit card company offers it. There are just some differences on the companies of for their minimum age and some other regulations like that. It's free. It's super easy, and you don't even have to have access to the card. That's not what we're looking for, okay? We're, we're not trying to put a credit card with a huge credit limit in the hands of somebody that's your age. We're trying to get that credit card in perfect standing reporting on your credit before it should be, okay? That is the key here. So you have a credit card trade line reporting on your credit. That's what we're going for here. Get established. You always hear that bad credit isn't as bad as no credit. And this is absolutely true. With no credit, no one is willing to give you that first opportunity. Your first credit will come in the form of student loans, which are terrible, and a secured credit card, which you have to put money down to reserve your line. You're now an authorized user on your parent's credit card. The payment history on it is perfect. It's 100%. The utilization is low. And whether or not you have a physical copy and can access that card depends on you and your parent. That is not the important part. But it is reporting your building credit right now. Because the day you turn 18, if you open a secured credit card with no credit, it's generally going to take six full months from the day that account is opened until it first reports to get a credit score. So basically, you won't have credit until you're 18 and a half, assuming you get started on your birthday as soon as you are legally able to be able to apply and sign that contract with the credit card company. So you're knocking that out of the way. You're getting a jump start right now. Okay, step number two. Now this doesn't directly impact your credit, but this is even more important in my, in my opinion. Okay, so if you're 16, 17, 18 years old, you are still in high school, you're getting decent grades, hopefully. If not, it's okay. I, I graduated high school with like a 2.3 GPA and then I had a 4.0 through my first six college semesters. Your high school means nothing. It's the easiest thing to ever do. Just if you're all excited about high school, just drop that shit right now, trust me. Get yourself a part-time job as soon as you can. Now, I don't care if you're working at McDonald's, I don't care if you have a million and one school activities, you're studying, find a time to get yourself a part-time job and as early as you possibly can in your life, realize what it takes to get your ass out of bed, go to work and earn a paycheck. And even further than that, learn the importance of earning money. Okay, you can go to college for 12 years, never work a job and understand what it takes to work. Or you could be a grinder in the trenches and realize to learn the importance of earning a dollar. This is the most important skill that you should have as a young person, especially in today's world with the devaluation of a college education and all the issues we're having in the country with entitlement, all of the stigma behind millennials and the generation under millennials, whatever the hell they're called now, generation, why the hell we do that? <laughs> just kidding. I'll learn to appreciate how you earn a dollar for two reasons. One, just that. The, or once you realize how important it is and how much, how everything just hits different when that's your money, okay? And two, let's start getting some revenue coming in, man. Let's, let's get some income. I don't care what the job is. If you can start a little business of your own, I don't care. If it makes dollars, it makes sense. So find some way to generate income, okay? Now, this is step number two. Get yourself a job. Now you're making some money. You can afford things. You're not begging for off of your parents. You can pay for your school trips. All the expensive crap that comes down the pipe. I want you to put all that spending aside a little bit and put yourself a plan in place to save $500. $500 is nothing in the grand scheme of things. $500 is a drop in the bucket. It won't be able to save your life in most situations, but saving $500 while you're still in high school. Now, I, I'm sure you've heard of Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey is the financial guru. He preaches holistic finances, and it's where credit doesn't matter. Pay for everything with cash. Keep your emergency funds so if the shit hits the fan, you're covered. But Dave Ramsey really preaches these. He wants you to start with a thousand dollar emergency fund. Well, being that your income is small, you're in high school, you have other stuff going on, you're in school, school activities, sports, um, 
all of the things you get into when you're 16, 17 years old. Enjoy that, but let's start working a little bit save up $500. Now, when you turn 18 and you're ready to go off to college or into the workforce, whichever you choose to do, you have $500 saved up. Now, if you haven't had an authorized user to put you on a credit card, you now have enough money for a small piece of that. $100 would be enough, 200 worst case scenario, to open yourself a secured credit card or you have $500 in the start towards your emergency fund and you will need that, especially if most high school kids, like your first car, it's a piece of crap, right? Stuff is going to break. Life starts when you're out of high school. It really does. For some kids, it starts a little bit earlier, but life starts the minute you leave those brick walls and it's not about school and just playing little kid stuff anymore, okay? Save yourself $500 while you are in school. It won't be as hard as it sounds. Now, I don't care if every two weeks you save 50 bucks, if every month you save $100, however you have to break it down, put it on paper, I'm going to save this, and I'm gonna keep $500. And don't keep it laying around in cash, put it in a savings account you have with you and your parents' name on it, or whatever. Acorns is a great app. I'm pretty sure you can open an Acorns account with a parent signature under the age of 18, but do that, $500 in a bank account, beginning of your emergency fund, and you will learn a lot about money and you will build some great habits right there at the earliest point with just that, okay? So first, we are an authorized user on a parent's credit card. Second, we saved $500. Now, third, this wouldn't have even been brought up years ago, but nowadays in the world we live in with what's happening, being on the cusp of the next great financial crisis, and I'm not talking about this made up recession they're talking about in the media, this student loan crisis, Okay, now I did a video up here about the Democratic politicians in 2020, their promises for uh, giving you free college and expunging and just eliminating all of this student loan debt. Well, I'm to going to tell you that's a bunch of crap. It's not going to happen. And if it does, it's not going to be complete. And if they were to make college for free, that means you should really reconsider going to college because what does a college degree worth if everybody has one? But, I want you for step number three, research and learn about student loans, okay? Now on my channel, that's one of the big things I focus on here, so if you're watching this, you're about to graduate high school, hit that subscribe button right now. I'm linking the student loans playlist up here. The videos will be peppered out throughout this with cards. Hit those, watch those, watch those student loan videos. Understand what you are going to be starting up for. Now I'm absolutely not saying that you shouldn't go to college because for a lot of people, a college education is a key and a key you need to get to where you want to go it's not the only way though okay and a lot of right now a lot of people are telling you you're never gonna be shit without a college education that is absolutely the furthest thing from the truth okay so you probably know right now if college is for you or, or not only you know that so research student loans learn about them because they are going to be what sets you back the most or they can be the vehicle that takes you to your dreams of your college education. If you wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, whatever your dreams and aspirations are, student loans are a necessary evil. So research student loans. Start with the types and then I want you to watch my video on student loan interest. Wrap your brain around that. This is a great financial literacy lesson. It should be one of the very first things we learn and it sickens me that you don't have a class about this high school right now but you know we'll work on changing the world a little bit every day right now I'm starting with you okay so learn about student loans number three I can't stress this enough so many people you go you sign that paperwork you go to college you don't know what you're getting into you don't know what those loans are you click through the stupid little entrance counseling I did honest I did and you end up getting yourself into this massive massive debt decision you're just snapping your finger and agreeing to and you don't know anything about it so step take a step above the rest get on board with this okay so little recap guys you're 17 years old you're about to be 18 you're about to go out into the real world to college to your to the workforce whatever i want you to do these three things one Become, if you can, an authorized user on your parents' credit card. It needs to be a credit card that has a perfect credit history, something that has low utilization, and better would be a card that's very rarely used. So you can almost guarantee that car is not going to get out of control because if it does, it will hurt both of you. 
okay? This is free, easy for your parents to do. They don't even have to give you a physical card. You could have no access to it. All that matters is it's reporting for you. You're basically, you are piggybacking off of one of their good credit accounts, okay? Great. If you need help talking your parents into it, show them this video. Show them the pros and cons list online. There are a lot of good reasons too. And the cons, there aren't that many because they can all be controlled with some discipline or just basic parental controls, okay? Number two, save $500. This is the start of your emergency fund. This teaches you to save money. This teaches you that everything that comes in isn't going right out at the same time. It is really a good appreciation of cash flows. A huge lesson for personal finance, probably the biggest. You can live your life without credit. You can't live your life without ever having cash flow. Remember that. And then third, I want you to do some thorough research on student loans. You can start with my videos. There are resources all over the internet. Do your research. And that doesn't mean don't go to college. That means understand what you are getting into. Understand that there are ways you can do, there are things you can do as soon as you start. That you don't come out as one of these stories and all these statistics of the people that got royally bent over and screwed with their student loans, okay? That's the list. Those three things, if you can hit those before you come out of high school, you are going to have a massive advantage over everybody. You know, and I don't care if you come from a rich family, from a poor family, if your parents are going to pay your way through college or not, work on these three things. Knock this out of the ballpark, and I'm not kidding you. By the time you walk across that stage, you graduate high school, you have the world at your fingertips. If you control your personal finance, your income is not important. You don't need a huge income to make it. If you understand how to deal with what you have, you are blessed, okay? So let's work on that. Any questions at all, leave a comment down below. Find me on Instagram, shoot me a message. The Instagram is linked down in the description with all my other social media. I'm available 24 hours a day. Send me a message, question, we'll get into it. This video is for my homegirl Alicia. Thanks for that. This is a good. This was a great idea. Um, the video is done. So hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Every new subscriber gets me closer to being able to afford to buy that brand new laser pointer for Hank. Leave a comment down below. Say something nice. Say something mean. And if you say something mean, subscribe so you can say it again next video. Thanks for watching.